Here's the explaining problem today. Um, the shapes shown are used to show the relationship between each of the four equations in the same fact family. So we've got 8 times 3 is 24, 3 times 8 is 24, so we can change the order of multiplication and you still get the same answer. And so the 8 and the 3 are related and multiplication you get 24, but if I use them with division, so 24 divided by 3, I get that 8 again. But if I went the other way and did 24 divided by 8, I'll get the other pair, 3. So they've got a question. There's an A, B, and a C for this. So maybe you're right in explaining and you're going to divide your page um, into three different sections. I want to only focus one at a time, so I'm going to cover them up as we go. So suppose the star represents negative 24. What value could the other shapes represent? So the box obviously is eight. Um, the circle is a three. So to get n a negative 24, what does that mean? So the way I would say that is to get this to be negative, that means one of these would have to be negative because a negative times a positive is a negative, right? So we could say eight is negative throughout all of these. Or we could say that the circle or 3 is negative throughout all these problems. Whichever one is negative, the other one would have to be positive. And that's how we're going to get all the stars to be negative 24. So now B. What do you know about the square and circle if the star represents a negative number? So very similar question, but now we're I guess just pinning it down, the I, the relationship. Since we're always multiplying in the top here a square by a circle, then we know in order to get this uh, star to be a negative, then we must have had one of the these to be a negative and the other one is a positive. And same here. Since this star represents a negative, then we would need the other one to be one of these to be a negative and the other one to be a positive for the equation to work out. Last over C, or last one. What do you know about the star if the square and the circle both represent a negative number? So what we're asking here, a negative times a negative is a positive, a negative times a negative is a positive. Here, if we have some number divided by a negative, what does that mean? This would be negative. So that would mean the star would have to be positive. A positive star divided by a negative gets me a negative answer. Same thing, positive star divided by a negative gets me a negative answer. 